what's up? It's your boy Hoy Slayer 64 back here again. It's your boy Hoy Slayer 64. New name, new new name right there. What's going on, fellas? It's your boy Sag Slayer, and we're back here today to play some good old-fashioned Hoy 4. Well, hearts are riding for for those of you who are who are enlightened. Okay, we're gonna be playing some Hoy 4 today. Um, I got a new mod. As I, I I always like to get new mods when I uh when I when I play my Hoy 4 experience. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're gonna be trying something a little bit different today. Although we're gonna be sticking with uh well not we're gonna we're not gonna be sticking with the norm because uh I kind of bounce all over the place with who I play. But we're going to be going to my back to my old main today. That's right, boys. The Soviet Union. Uh, I got a new mod. Uh, it is the world. Uh, not the world of anime. I've had that one already. It is Soviet music. So we're going to be getting some music added onto the game. Some uh, Soviet music today. And I have some different launcher update uh, later on, okay? I have some... Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I have some different things I want to do today. Why do I have two recycle bins? You know what? It doesn't matter. I got some different things I want to do today. Some different focuses. I want to explore the... Uh, I want to explore a division template, right? So I need to look... I'm going to look something up to help me design it. No way! Yes, that's what we wanted you to think. Ah, <laughs> uh, Soviet marches. Cause it's not a war if you're not doing Soviet marches, boys. Um. Also, this song just genuinely slaps. I love this song. One of the best Soviet songs there is. But I was saying, uh, I want to do something today. So we've talked about my uh, dis dislike for the naval stuff. And yeah, we've been over that a bunch of times. And... Um, I've had I've been playing a bunch of different countries recently on both on stream and personally So we're gonna go back to the old Soviet Union today And uh, we're going to experiment with something because I feel like I've been uh, I've been neglecting Papa Stalin if I'm being real with you I've been I've been neglecting him. So uh, What I want to do today is we've talked about my hatred for the whole Navy thing But but I actually do want to try something out I do want to get better at one thing specifically and that is air now, as the Soviet Union, I start out with a ton of really good planes, and by really good, I mean I start out with a ton of barely functional planes that suck, but I have a lot of them, and a lot of them equal good, right? But today, what if, hear me out, what if the Soviets actually had good air? So I want to spec into researching some uh, some planes today, see how this whole air thing uh, works out for me, because you know what, you know what they say, uh, why push? If your air, if your air can just absolutely shred the enemy, and you don't really have to do anything beyond that, right? <laughs> um, we are gonna uh, get some medium tanks up and going though. I wanna find a new division template, uh, not a template, but a new division that I could uh, steal off the internet. Cause I, I wanna, I wanna experiment with what's the best Soviet divisions to train. You know what I'm saying? I only really train tanks or. Um, Infantry, because I don't really feel like I need to train anything else as the Soviet Union, I'm going to be real with you. Like, I'm the Soviet Union, I don't think I really need Mountaineers, if I'm being, like, 100% real with you. Most of my fighting is on flat plane in Europe, right? And yes, I haven't turned off the World of Anime mod. Why? Because I like it, and it's funny. Uh, I'm going to turn my fan on, though, because it is hot today, so, uh, if you hear it in the background... Apologies. The Soviet Union will never break up. It's there, even to this day. It's still here. You know? They just wanted you to believe that it was broken up, you know? But the Soviet Union is still here, okay? I'm telling you, it's still here. It's in my heart. It, it, it never left. It's still here. Greatest country of all time. But we're back. We're back in World of Anime today, boys. You know, the fun World War II simulator. What's that? 
Hearts of Ryan 4. Oh, I've never heard of that. No, 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 no. This is the world of anime. So let's get it going up in here. I was playing Czechoslovakia in my last game. We're not playing Czechoslovakia today. We're going back to Papa Stalin over here and our, and our beautiful uh, our beautiful red country where we totally do not shoot our generals if they attempt to retreat. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, I'm going to strengthen myself because... Uh, it's not fun if I don't have more political power. I'm not going to change too much today in terms of what happens. I, I kind of just want to leave it up to random, except Japan. I don't want to leave Japan up to uh, random. I'm actually going to turn Japan democratic. Why? Because they suck when they're democratic, and I won't have to worry about them. Uh, I don't really want to worry about the Eastern Front, if I'm being like 100% real with you. That's not fun. Though I have actually figured out how to get naval supremacy over Japan, right? Basically, throughout the entire game, spam the heck out of submarines, right? And then move them over here to the Sea of Japan and uh, completely block the Japanese Navy from getting in. It's really not that hard. Everyone else, though, we're just going to let them do their thing and... Because... Uh, I'm going to eat Poland anyway, probably. I want to eat Poland. I, I'm going to be real. I want to get the, on that as soon as possible. I'm not too worried about the whole Romania-Turkey thing like I usually do. That That's kind of boring. But I would actually like to uh, go ahead and go to war with Poland. I might get on Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania as well. I might jump right on those guys. I'm going to be real with you. We're, we're going to have fun, though. We're going to have fun. I'm going to play for a while. Uh, I'm going to be playing for a little while today. You can see, see I'm excited. I've been wanting to play Hoi for all day today. I've been... Uh, I've been gone, actually. I haven't been home all day today. I've been out of here since, uh, I left early in the morning. I just have not been home whatsoever today. So, I, I've been itching to get my Hoi 4 on, and we're going to do that today. So, first, obviously, we're going down the path of Marxism and, blah, blah, blah. Marxism and Leninism. Don't worry, I'll get some more DLC in the future, and we'll maybe do something else one of these days. So, as always, I, I would actually, uh... Start specking into planes immediately over here. We're going to get some, uh, see if we can get the MiG-9, the MiG-15. Uh, we got bombers and fighters. We want to get some good fighters, though, you know? Like these guys. Four years ahead of time. The more ahead it is, the bigger the time. But, uh, see. So you see these, right? These are some planes that we can't get right now because, uh, they're ahead of time. We can actually go ahead and get this one. Uh, I'm guessing this one is not that good. Um... I don't actually know too much about planes. I'm gonna be 100% real with you, so don't get me uh, don't don't get me wrong if I mess up. I know the bombers though. I think I think I know my fair share about uh, bombers. Not really. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the electrical engineering. You know, we always gotta start with the whole construction thing. You know, the uh, the boring stuff out the way first. Then we can get to our medium tanks and our um, and stuff. So uh, I'm going to build a fair few civils as always, and then I want to get a couple mills going. Actually, the benefit of being the Soviet Union is that we do have a good amount of uh, resources here. Uh, so you know, I'll just get started on that a little bit. Let the game try and catch up with those. Uh, our supplies mostly good around here. I don't really think I'm going to do anything with Finland today. At least I hope not. But I actually am going to do something over here. Yeah, I am actually going to do something about this really quickly. Because this, this is not good, okay? This is not good at all. I'm going to I'm gonna pop ourselves a little supply right there. Uh, I'm going to pop ourselves a little supply right there. A little supply right there. Ooh, I didn't mean to build that right away. A little supply right there. A little supply here. And a little supply there. And some right there. Just because... Uh, I need we need the supply okay so we're gonna try and get that supply up and going early on uh, so you can see we're making a little bit of fighters uh, strategic bombers as well we'll keep our one mil on them for now we'll just increase on guns uh, we I am not gonna spec too heavy in the tanks right now uh, in fact I'm because I'm not even gonna be the I'm not even gonna bother with tanks yet because I want uh, heavier tanks I'll turn that up I actually get my support equipment going my artillery up too I mean, I put some in the tanks, but not too much in the tanks, if that makes sense. Um, all my planes are going auto, so uh, all my boats are going auto. So I'm actually going to take what I actually do have that is uh, just sitting back here in um, Vladivostok, and I'm going to move it over here, all up because we're um we're going to move them over here to the Baltic Sea. 
I want all my players to get over to the Baltic Sea instead of the Black Sea because uh, we're going to be trying to just throw some type of navy together. Maybe see if we can't learn how to convoy raid a little bit. Uh, you know, keep the Germans at bay, all that fun stuff. Trade, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some rubber from the Dutch East Indy with two factories, and that should be more than enough. We got a construction going. Um, our production is the way I would like it. Uh, as for my divisions, I'm not going to be training any tanks just yet. I'm going to wait just a little bit for the tanks because uh, if, if I don't, then we're going to get light tanks, and I really don't want light tanks. I want uh, medium tanks, you know? So uh, we're gonna try and get us, we'll get some tanks uh, up and going later on. Uh, for now, let's get our divisions going and worry about getting through the purges like we always have to do. Cause uh, it's not a Hoi Four game if you don't worry about getting through the purges, right? Am I talking too fast? Let me know if I'm talking too fast for you guys. I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh hey, I'm speeding through my talking. Uh, people can't even understand what I'm talking about. I'm just going on and on and on. I don't want to be that guy. I just want to uh, try to make everything as clear as possible for you all today. Because I really don't want to go to war with Japan. I want to avoid a war with the Allies at all costs. So, if I can, I will. Though, I do admit we are going to have to fight Japan uh, actually over here. So, just because we are going to have to do that, I'm going to get that... Uh, front line set up for those guys as for the rest of these guys i get a field marshal on these five get a field marshal on these five real quick that's four five uh we'll get zook off hopefully he doesn't get purged hopefully i don't get him purged oh we can't do it just right now we will in a few minutes if i can avoid getting him purged that'd be really cool uh, I'm gonna put these guys on the border with Poland because I want to. Uh, I want that. <laughs> I'm, co I'm coming for that, Poland. I'm coming for it, you know? Uh, I'm coming for most of your land. I I'll leave you with something. Probably just some little gap over here so I don't have to worry about Germany and you can still be my buffer. But I am coming for that land, buddy. I'm coming for it. Um, let's get our planes. I'm actually gonna get all my planes together now. Right, uh, cause I also I always thought that like red line that you see right there meant oh hey your planes are uh, your planes are suffering attrition. No, it just means that uh, your air force actually isn't doing anything right now. So uh, I just want to see everywhere I got planes. Um, I think that seems to be all of my planes. Oh wait, I, I had it scrolled out, so I don't actually necessarily know. Just want to make sure. Oh yep, see look, I got some planes over here and uh. Well, out of all stock, I didn't even know that. Actually, I didn't even know that until just now. But because we're not going to be worrying about the Japanese this game, I'm going to move all my planes over here. And uh, we're absolutely going to shred the heck out of Poland. I'm going to have my troops exercise for a little bit because, uh, you know. Oops, I didn't mean to click the Navy because the Navy's going to get purged. So, uh, that's one guy. That's one guy. I'm going to have these guys stationed on the border with... Uh, I'll put them on the border with the Romania for now. I don't actually plan to do anything with them. But we'll have them train and get ourselves a little XP. So we're all good to go now. I'm actually going to increase the speed and get started over here with what we need to do. So we just need to focus on our paths right now. Get our um, get our uh, political power up. You know, get a military guy. Get the XP going. That's the first thing I want to do. So it's going to be 100 and command power and 20 command power. So we're just getting our, our political power up going right now. Uh, equipment required for air reinforcements, tactical bomber, naval bomber. So I'm actually not making either of those. Can, how do I go about making these? Transport planes, strategic bomber, naval bomber, fighter. I'm not trying to bomb any planes. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, I almost went down the left opposition. We're going to sentry. Uh, I, I'm going to be real. I'm not really trying to bomb any planes, so I don't care. Let's get ourselves a uh, chief of the army as soon as possible. We're missing the 20 political power, but once we do get that, I mean not political power, command power, and once we get that, we can get the chief of the army. Uh, I want to get I want to get on the um, the Spanish Civil War. So Germany is clearly going down its fascist path, which is uh, I don't know if that's really all that good. I'm gonna be real with you, but they're doing it, and there's not much I can really do about it. But cry. 
There we go. Yep, Germany's remilitarized the Rhineland, so they're going down their uh, they're going down their default path. Let's get him so we can get that army experience up and going. We're done with electrical engineering. We're just gonna get down radio really quickly and get that up and going. Um, we can do more. Uh, I don't know if I want to go up to extensive conscription this soon. Uh, we already got enough manpower, so I'm actually not gonna do that yet. There we go. Stalin started his purges. It's okay. We'll try and get our, uh, let's get our construction speed up actually a little bit. Just, uh, I gotta just remind me to check the purge meter if I forget, please. Please, because last time he purged Zukov and I was extremely devastated. Well, he kept attempting to purge Zukov and then he finally just did it. Ban fascism, get that up and going. We'll also ban Democratic parties in a few minutes for satisfactory production reports. Uh, we'll also get that going in a few minutes. We got the Stalin Constitution. And once we get down, we'll go straight to the uh, Trotsky Tour Center. Okay, now uh, we can we're just going to rush past this as soon as possible. We also want to get some, uh, because I want to I wanna quickly get to light tanks. Uh, not light tanks. I want to quickly get my uh, tanks to stability, political power, mental hand power. We'll get that going right then and there. Uh, I want to, uh, oh, check my dudes. Don't, don't make me, guys, do not let me forget about the, uh, do not let me forget about the political power bar. Please do, don't let me forget. Once we do this, I'm actually going to do secure the administration and uh, uh, secure the administration and um, socialism in one state because it actually does uh, keep the political power gain down. Socialism in one country, I mean, it does actually help to keep the political uh, paranoia down, and I did not know that. So that is something you actually want to spec in as soon as you possibly can. Uh, military high command. Army regrouping expert, that's a good one to have. So we're done with radio, now I can get back over here and uh, get down to construction two. We're also going to try to go for our fourth research slot this game. We're going to need it, I'm gonna be real here. We're going to need it. Uh, there we do, so now we need to do uh, secure the administration, go straight for it. Look, you can see it kept our political pool. We're only getting 2% weekly gain. You see that? 2%. That's that's 2%. That is nothing. So this really does help, and you should do this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our... Uh, hmm. Ooh, we'll get a tank refurbishment, for refurbishment plant so we can get our uh, our stuff going a little there. So I want to get the uh, converse con uh, uh, convoy rating up and going. Commercialized industry. There we go. What? Did I say commercialized industry? Concentrated industry. I'm an idiot. Uh, we. I'm not going to do that because I think it'll go down once we do secure the administration. I think it will, though. Could be wrong. It's not going that high, though, so uh, we're not going to pay it any attention. We actually do have our. Uh, we actually do have the. Um, how you say the XP going up now? Good, good. I'm actually gonna have these guys stop uh, exercising for a bit though, cause uh, you guys are you guys are getting just a little too crazy on the exercising. We're gonna go ahead and why can't I promote Zukov? Uh, I need seven more command power. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. But we're just gonna wait for uh, security administration to finish and see if this goes down any. Yeah, it went down to zero. There we go. That pops us back. We can also do the collectivization process. But I want to actually go over here and do commentary real quick just so we can already get that uh, up and going. Plus, it's only 35 days. It doesn't take that long. And uh, we're, we'll, we'll, we'll do fine. You know, we'll do fine to set this back just a little bit more. And by the time we do commentary, we'll probably uh, be able to do the um, anti-Soviet Trotsky Center. How many? Uh, 128 days. So we're, we're close. We're close. We might just do the collectivization process either way. Um, warfare, excessive planning, preparation before engaging in battle is key to strategy. Oh, I'm gonna see what this does. This, 
non-combat out of supply penalties. Plus two percent supply grace for plus forty hours. Okay. Entrenchment speed, max entrenchment. That is a good one. Uh, so, so this gets our soft attack up. Start So I'll probably be doing this one, but let me see. Tank and armor variants breakthrough. Oh, I want to push with tanks, so we'll do mo. I want to do mobile warfare. I never do mobile warfare, but we're gonna do mobile warfare this game and try and keep this up. YouTube name change when? Probably soon. Probably soon. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, prob probably soon. You know, I enjoy making this kind of content now, and um, <clears throat> not that many people watch the other stuff I do, so I, I like streaming hard. So I like streaming Hearts of Iron Four now. It's it's really fun. Uh, twelve percent. We're at twelve percent. It's not that bad. The weekly gain is slow because we did secure the administration. Oh, Trotsky arrived in Moscow. We're gonna kill him. Thank God for that. Uh, so Mexico just sent Trotsky here, and that should drop our political paranoia down. We actually should get, uh, we, if anything, we should be getting less of a gain. Uh, I don't know why we aren't. It's getting up to eight. I thought that would knock us down to like almost zero weekly gain, but we're still gaining. It's okay. Docking yard's done. I'm actually going to get uh, some... Uh, hmm. Light attack. Ooh. We'll get us just a heavy cruiser up and going on the, uh, the docking yard right there. 14%. The weekly gain is not bad. I'm going to be real. Hold on. I'll check what you're uh, saying in a second, Casper. Just give me five seconds here. Uh, let's get some submarines out. We'll get a submarine going, another submarine out here going. We're gonna we're gonna actually use our docking yards. There we go. Collectivization process just set us back down. And we can do the anti-Soviet Trotsky Center. This keeps us from having to purge anyone. We might actually get away with a very light purges this game. We might get away. Legitimately, we might just get away with very light purges. Uh let's pick someone here. We need light aircraft designer. I don't know. How is, what path is Poland going now? They are not being guaranteed. I'm actually going to just go ahead and justify on them because I'm probably going to get down there into that. Because good thing I still have most of the intros and outros, yeah. Um, instruction speed. I'm going to get into this. Uh, I think I've done that. I want to get my tanks going. So I want to get down to the T-32 and get down to the C-34. So we're actually gonna start researching our light tanks and getting that going. We'll do the worker's dictatorship now. We might get away, oh, we're getting weekly gain 3%, so it has jumped a little bit. I can seize Manchuria. So this is completely focused preemptive clue cool, regards. I'm going to seize Manchuria. I might actually just do that. Like if I can just do it, I am probably going to do it. That that seems like something I'm probably going to do. I'm going to be real with you. If I can just seize Manchuria during the Japanese Civil War, then guess what? Manchuria belongs to me. Hey, how you doing? Uh, we're playing Hearts of Iron 4 today. Uh, I, I haven't been playing the Soviets in a while, or at least by my standards, a while, a few days. I've been playing uh, mostly small countries, so we're back to playing the Soviets. And in today's game, I want to focus uh, more. I want to start trying to do more air stuff, not naval, but more air stuff. I want to get some more planes up and going. See if I can uh, steal a little division template off of um, uh, online to see what is the best division I should do. We're also trying mobile warfare doctrine today instead of. Uh, Instead of our normal, uh, we're not doing historical today because I want to play around a little more. Plus, I, I, you know, honestly, unlike most people, I've played historical a ton, but I actually really like the chaos that happens when you go non-historical. It's, it, it's really funny and I enjoy it. I know a lot of people don't enjoy it and I completely understand why, but I kind of like the chaos. So, you know, I, I don't, so it's a little fun just to see what, what type of crazy stuff is going to happen. We got our boy Zukov up in there. We're going to give him his offensive doctrine. We're also going to give him his organization first up in there. And, 
We'll pick a random one. I don't really care about too much about the Navy, I'm being real. Research speed. Oh, I can get the boost to the research speed. That is good. Let's go ahead and get the boost to the research speed going on there. Um, the Dominion Canada. Okay, so I guess Canada's gone independent or whatever. Uh, it looks like Japan is probably going to have a civil war. And if they do, we might be able to seize uh, Manchuria, which would be really fun for us. What are we doing? We're doing the workers' dictatorship right now. Okay. I'm going to forward satisfactory production reports just to go ahead and get that down. We are not trying to purge too many people this game, so uh, I'm actually going to go get down starting uh, to uh, do something else with these planes over here. We got a couple divisions ready, but I'm not really ready for those guys, so they're going to wait. can do naval invasions actually i have done uh i've gotten naval supremacy blah, blah, blah. naval supremacy a few times but i'm gonna be real i still don't really like the naval stuff it's really not that fun to me i'm gonna be real i, I prefer i much prefer the whole land combat it's uh it's pretty fun and i enjoy it yeah i know i actually did i am actually getting started on building supply hubs already out here a couple more out here in manchuria uh, they're not done. Uh, okay, no, no, they're not done yet. But when they are done, we will probably be able to rush right in here. Because uh, I don't expect them to have too many good troops. I'm going to be real with you. And so uh, I'm, I'm about ready to... Actually, speaking of which, thank you for reminding me. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of the border here. Because these guys are independent now. So I actually don't need the border... Uh, I don't need these. I don't need to have these guys stationed on the border. So I'm actually just gonna have the entirety of my second uh, field marshal armies stationed on the, uh, the Manchuria border. Because if I can siege Manchuria, then guess what? Your boy's gonna do it. You best believe I am going to do it. So we are going to do that. Uh, there's the collectivization. Uh, let's see how we're we doing over here. We're doing okay for now. Uh, I'm actually going to go over here because I haven't actually done anything on the diplomacy side. Uh, let me see. We'll do develop. No. Um, I'm going to see if I can get that non-aggression pack with Japan. I'll, I'll see. If I can get it, I highly doubt they'll take it. But if they do take it, that would be good. Air safety expert. Oh, weather. They were formal. Ooh. We're, we're getting off pretty good, though, with the purges. Or you're invading. Oh, we're going to actually be getting Poland over here in a second. As soon as our justification is finished. We will... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go straight for Poland this game. Um, I'm not too scared about Germany, since this, this is... Uh, are they guaranteeing National Spain? How, how's National Spain doing? Are they winning? They did win. They won this time. Okay. Well, well no, they are almost winning. Okay, I haven't seen them win in a while, actually. Republican Spain has won a lot recently. The game is paused. Let's go ahead and get that fixed. Results in the Let me see. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, I'm about ready now to uh, go look at these divisions and see. I want to look up a good... I'm going to try and see if I can... Uh, still a really good... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did not help Socialist uh, Republic, Sp Republican Spain because I don't care that much. I'm going to be real with you. I honestly really don't care. I mean, Spain's going to be neutral anyway, and they're not much of an ally to me. So, like, let's be real here. No, I did not help them. Let me just see something. I'm, I'm just looking up. Uh, I, I want to try a different uh, infantry template here. So let me just see. One that might work super good. Because I got some factories going. Uh, once my mills get done, we can uh, get a little bit going. I haven't started making any tanks just yet. Because I want to uh, get mediums first before I start making tanks. 
any pictures. Six and T polarized. Okay. Okay, this is good. I'm not really looking for defensive infantry. I want to push. Like I, I want to push this game. I, I'm gonna be real here. I want I want to push a little more this game. So I don't think I'm really looking for defensive. I'm looking for something that's going to inflict as much damage as possible while allowing me. No, I don't want one of. God, what is this? God. Okay, here we go. Here's one that I see. It's pretty good for the Soviets. So it starts, it actually keeps the whole six artillery thing, which is fine by me. But it looks like we're going to go two artillery. We'll give it a try. So I see two artillery, right? Yeah. Oops, not anti air. I didn't mean to do that. Artillery, one artillery, and then we'll do, um,. I think that's rocket artillery, but I don't have rocket artillery at the moment. So we're gonna go with normal uh, artillery. Then it uh, says get an engineer support company. Uh, get ourselves support anti air. Then uh, let me see. I don't actually know what that is. I'm gonna be real. So uh, we're just gonna ignore it for now. I don't have that one, so uh, it's fine. Okay, this seems good enough. So we'll just uh, we'll focus on this one for now, and uh, we'll get the other one later on down the line. Still seems to be fine enough until later on when we get a little more things going. There would be a difference for multiplayer template and the single player ones. Wait, base marines. Yeah, I, I figured there would be uh, things would work a little bit different in multiplayer, but as of now, I'm doing single player, so I'm gonna go with that template uh, for now. We'll update it as we go along. Political paranoia is not doing that bad yet. We got uh, how many divisions is this? There we go. We got the BT7 up and going. So now we can actually just go straight to the T32. Uh, I will uh, change production over to this tank, but I'm going to be real. I don't care too much. I've been producing these tanks the entire time, but I'm not too interested in them. Because I'm more interested in... Uh, I'm more interested in trying to get my actual good tanks up, right? So, um, also, let me see. I have my planes all here. I'm going to just have them exercise a little bit. Maybe get a little air experience for now. Until I'm ready... There we go. We're gonna seize Manchuria. The capital is the worst than both of us. Okay, so now we got our war goals on Manchuria. Um, let, let's see. The supply ain't looking too good, but at the same time, I also don't think it's gonna go too bad for us. Let's just get ourselves a field marshal over here. Uh, I'm not gonna put any of my generals over here right now because I don't care that much. I'm gonna be real here. I don't think these guys are going to be too bad. And we don't have too many troops over here uh, bogging down the supply. Yeah, the supply is going to get bad in Manchuria. But I don't expect it to get too bad over here. Unlike when I usually stuff this place with troops. Plus, we also do have our boy. Uh, we also do got our boy Mongolia ready to help us out should we need it. These guys are improving their relations with Germany. Uh, they have these guys as their puppet. These guys right here, right? Yeah, they are a puppet. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I'll probably give them to someone else anyway. Uh, we're going to annex them, call in our allies, and uh, I'm just going to decrease the speed a little bit. My planes are over there, but you know what? It's it's fine. I don't Again, the, I, I don't expect these guys to, uh, with the massive onslaught I have. They don't even have to fully cover in their border. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I, I might even just be able to walk through. Let, let me be real here. I, I might be able to walk straight through. 
I highly even doubt there's much I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, supply's pretty bad, but it's not bad enough that I really care. Uh, make your way around there for me, please. Am I gonna be able to walk straight to their- I- I might just walk straight to their capital. Like, I'm not even joking. I might just be able to straight walk to their capital. Dude, if I actually just straight up walk to their capital. They only just caught their puppet. Oh, well, I took their capital. That wasn't too hard, now was it? Uh, I did also just link all my forces up. Uh, screw it, I guess we might as well push now, because uh, it's not looking like it's going to go too, uh, it's not looking like it's going to go too bad for us, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and push. Uh, I'm sure Mongolia can handle it, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, Stalin! Who are you purging? You're purging someone! No, I didn't want you to do that! Uh, well, purging the Navy. Uh, yeah, his political paranoia is going to get pretty high, but it's not that bad. It, it's not that bad. Like I saw, Japan did give us. They rejected our proposal. That is a little sad, but it's okay. Uh, we'll do that right there. Sins of influence. Why did I start doing spheres of influence in China? I'm an actual idiot. What the heck is wrong with me? So I guess it's the lack of supply actually just uh, major encirclement right here. And by major encirclement, I mean uh, something happened over here, you know? Hey, you. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to- oh, no, no, you, I guess. Yeah, yeah, walk, walk around for me real quick. Did someone say encirclement? Oh, you did? Okay. This is really not that hard, I'm gonna be real with you. I, don't, I didn't expect these guys to actually, you know, last anyway. Plus, they moved their new capital right over here. And I can still just, uh, I can still just walk around, so, uh, you know, sorry guys, I guess. Uh, we might have to purge the Navy. And there's my justification for Poland. But I'm actually not ready to take that yet. Because, uh, so, oh man, the supply in Manchuria is not good at all. Like, it is not good at all. It's not good. But it's also, like, not that bad. Yeah, I, I knew he was going to do that. There we go, we got our spheres of influence in China. And because we got our spheres of influence in China, let's get back over here and do the military conspiracy. And uh, I probably would have been done with this by now had I just not been stupid, but you know what? I was stupid. Also, why didn't I take their capital? I'm like pretty sure they're ready to uh, capitulate like any minute now. Really, you guys are gonna be that guy? Okay, whatever. Did I not give you, like, something to do? I don't know. I said push down here. Is that not, like, is was that too hard for you? The light tanks. Oh, uh, yeah, I got no light tanks. I don't care about the light tanks right now because, uh, you know, I, I said it already, but, um. There's the military conspiracy done. I'm going to actually get more economy done real quick. Like I said, I'm not too worried about these guys. I'm gonna be real with you. They're uh, they're kind of weak. I'm gonna be real. There we go. And just like that, I will uh, annex all of them. They got anything I can take? As for these guys, since Mongolia has been really good to me, Mongolia has been really good to me. So you know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to let my uh, Mongolia just straight up have this. Yeah. Oh no, I actually don't want them. I want Mongolia to have them. I think I have to su submit my demands first. Submit demands, okay. Uh, Mongolia, how you doing, buddy? You want something? You want you want something out of this? Yeah, you want that? Yeah, you can have that. There you go, Mongolia. 
And now that those guys are done and over with, that wasn't too hard now, was it? Let me get back over here. Uh, um, what? Am I ready for Poland? I think I am ready for Poland. I'm going to be real with you. If they aren't guaranteed, I am ready. I am without a shadow of a doubt ready for Poland. If they are not guaranteed, that is. Hey, Poland, buddy, are you guaranteed? You are not, but I lost my war goal. Oh, did these guys say no? They did. They said no. I lost my Polish war goal. That sucks. But uh, it's not that bad. We'll just re get it back. It doesn't really matter. Uh, well, probably not because our attention's too high. So there's Poland. There goes Poland, guys. There goes Poland. Return Manchuria. What? No. Screw off. And, uh, um, let me see something. So I got Manchuria. Do I get cores on it? I do not get cores on it. That has got to suck. Who, if I was to return Manchuria, who do I return it to, though? Is the question. Do I return it to Communist China? I'd do that. Oh, I do return it to Communist China. Uh, do, does, does Communist China really need it? Or should I just keep it? What do you guys think? Do you think Communist China needs uh, Manchuria? Or do you think I need Manchuria? I mean, it would be a great staging place for an invasion of Japan, you know? It would be. If I, well, uh, not Japan, but Korea. No, okay, here's the thing. I am going to do a motorized template. I am. I promise you, I am. Uh, we are doing tanks, but I want to wait. Uh, I usually do tanks all the time, but I want to wait until I get my medium tanks up and going. That's what I want to do. I want to get those medium tanks up and going, and uh, once I get the once I get the ability to make medium tanks, we'll go ahead and uh, plop ourselves out a nice uh, motorized tank division. We got enough tanks for now anyway, right? We got enough tanks for uh, what we want to do. Right now, we do, so uh, they are being guaranteed. Dang it, Brynn! Dang it, I hate you! Further defense, detection... Our area experience gain... Interception, detection... Oh, this seems fun. Let's do strategic destruction. Uh... Yeah, no. Yeah, this one sounds a little better. That one sounds just a little bit better. Uh, I don't care too much about the Navy stuff, I'm gonna be real. So, uh, you know, I'll just pick something randomly. Though I will check on my fleet. It is all over here. Uh, and some over here. I'm actually gonna move that all over here. Because when we do go to war with a naval power, I am gonna probably, uh... There we go, we'll get rid of that border. Uh, I don't know if I want to return this to Communist China. After all, they are not in my faction. And if they were in my faction, it would be a little bit easier, right? But they're not in my faction, so, uh... And it doesn't look like they're going to join. They did keep Mao, though. They did keep Mao. I, I, I'm trying to really weigh the pros and cons as, as if to it would be more useful to me than it would them, or if it would be more useful to them for me, right? It all depends on what they do, because if we have to go to war with the Allies later on, I might want to keep this, you know? It could be a little bit more valuable. It could be a little more valuable to me than them, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? I'll hang on to it for now. We're, we're gonna get war economy real quick, and then once we oh, well, I can actually I can just do it myself. So screw it. let's bypass that. Yeah, I'll just cancel it. Doesn't really matter. I'm already like I, I'm I'm straight to war economy. We we should just like bypass it anyway. How are you doing over here? Those are 66. Uh, 75 days ago. So okay. Uh, in the meantime, then I'm not really too worried about doing the war economy. I can do something else. 
Oh, there's Austria. It just got annexed. I'm gonna... Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go over here a little bit and do a little uh, more stuff over here. The heavy industry up and going. Oh, not going too good. Persian Navy. Yep, hence why I did not give it to China. See why I didn't give it to Communist China? See why I did not give it to them? Because I knew. I knew it. There's no place in the Navy for such a man. Calm down, Stalin. Please calm down for like three seconds. Take a deep breath. Everything's okay. Okay, buddy. Oh, Poland, you got so lucky. I screwed myself this game. We're going to do this a little bit differently. They banned communism too. Dang it! Look down here. See how we're going. Um, uh, what do policy of collective security? If I can get uh, something going with the allies, that would be great. Let's see about uh, getting some more uh, rocket artillery. Now, what is this? Oh, that's a good one. That is good. Let's go ahead and get that and start uh, producing some of that. Okay, so there is a mutually assistance block going on over there. Get our, uh, wait, let me look over here. No, still can't do it yet. We get our anti-fascist policies going. He just purged the Air Force. It ain't that bad, though. Purging the Air Force, I didn't really want him to, but it's not as bad as it could have been, right? Did we lose our... The question here is, though, did we actually lose the guy for... No, we did not lose him. It's not that big a deal. There we go. We got some more factories up and going. I'm actually not going to be using them because I want to... Uh, Save them for when we get our new artillery done. I think he just purged the army. He did. He did just purge the army. Thank you, Stalin. Thank you for getting rid of my uh, second field marshal. You know, it, it was it was appreciated. Much appreciated. Come on, dude. There we go. The Baca rights and Trotskyites. Purge them. I don't care. I uh, did care, but it, it's not that big a deal. We, we're on the black of to trust gates. We're almost out of here anyway, and we're almost free. And once we're free, we can uh, we can chill out just a little bit more, right? So now that uh, Communist China is in a faction, they're definitely not getting Manchuria back now. It's more useful to me than it is to them, so uh, you cannot have it back anymore. There we go. There's our artillery. Let's get this new artillery up and going. Oh, and there's our T-32. Now that we got the T-32 up and going, and we got some factories on here. How many do I have, actually? I got three, so we're going to get three on there. We're going to change the BT-7 to the T-32, and we're actually going to go down here, and we're going to get ourselves a tank division, uh, and we're going to start replacing our light tanks with our uh, medium tanks, because, uh, well, we got medium tanks now, and, you know, we want medium tanks out, out, out here. 15, I got 32. I'm gonna replace that last one with a medium. I can. Uh, I got 25. Can I add one more medium tank on? I absolutely can. So there we go. We got medium tank. We got a medium tank division up and going now. Uh, we're gonna select the location. Small links to that over here. I'm gonna just uh, have them turn out 11 divisions at a time. Turn that up. Okay. Everything's looking good for me. Yeah, I know, I know I'm producing equipment I have no Division 10 play for. You will wait, okay? When I'm, I'm going to start straight up on the T-34. I'm also going to go over here and get ready to start getting uh, infantry equipment, too. Uh, are we still too ahead for those planes? We are. It's not that big a deal for now. Let me get down to uh, advanced equipment operation, operating. We have those war goals on, uh, what's this country called again? Oh, yeah, we got we got the war goes going, but honestly, I don't care. And they're already at war with China anyway, so uh, you know, good luck for them, I guess. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't have the XP right now, buddy. I, I don't have the XP. We're, we'll get it when we get the XP going, okay? Look, we, we, that's what we just got. We just got the artillery. We just got the, um... Where is it? There we go. We just got the Toad Anti-Tank right there. We will throw it in the template once we get some XP going. In fact, we actually do have some. So I'm going to throw some... In oh, we don't have enough to throw the Anti-Tank on. We need 10. So once we get it, we'll, we'll go ahead and throw on some Anti-Tank. Oh, well, we actually do have enough now to throw on our Anti-Tank, okay? Boom. Anti-Tank right there. Support that Anti-Tank. There we go. That, that, ooh, dude, our self can tie. And there we go. Purges are done. Now with our purges done, we can do a lot more. Our purges are finally done. Our docking yards are up and going. I'm going to go ahead and make some. I'm just going to spam out submarines. Again, I, I told you guys, I'm not, I don't care about the Navy. I really don't. So uh, I'll just be spamming out some submarines. There we go. Put the, all three docking yards on that and get that up and going. Uh, we got some more mills up and going. I want to put the mills... We're making enough planes right now. Uh, well, I'll put that extra mill on the tanks right now. I want to get out more tanks so I can get my uh, tank divisions up and going now that we've done the block of reds and anti trotsky We're going to go straight down the... Uh... I'm going to seek my defensive pack with the allies first. Then we'll go down Baltic security. How's that sound? That sounds good to me. I'm done. I don't care about that war goal. We can also start putting on our, uh, we can actually start adding our freaking generals now. So, congratulations to us. There we go. That sucked there, I felt Marshall's got purged, but it is what it is. He, he was important. He wasn't that important. We don't really need him. I'm not too worried about him. I'm gonna be real. Uh, we're in the commie turn, right? We are in the commie turn. Good. Uh, I I might just go get these guys. I'm gonna be real here. Like they're they're just sitting right here. No, because are they allied with anyone? I'm a war goal. They are a puppet of China, so therefore I'm actually not gonna deal with that. I'm not going to war with China. It's not worth it for me. Personally, they have nothing I really want. Let's get our uh, let's get our guns up here and going. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get going here, guys. We're, don't trust me. We're going to get Ger uh, going. We got the Germans over here. They should be hitting us with the Mo Molotov, Ribbentrop, and any any time now. They should actually be doing it. I'm a little upset they didn't go down their um their other path. Oh, hi. Air for Union. There we go. Got another mill up and okay. the Munich Agreement. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. With the settlement of the Czechoslovakian problem, which has now been achieved. Get artillery up a little bit. We just seek the defensive pack. Yeah, France agreed to sign the pack. Great. Thank you, France. Of course, I'm not going to actually come to your aid. And if you actually need help, you're on your own. But that does mean... That does mean if I get attacked by the Germans, the Allies will help me. Right? That, that, that is good. Just in case they decide to attack... Uh, because they're going to demand memo soon. And uh, they're going to do it, and they'll probably do it when I get Lithuania, before I get, uh, when I annex Lithuania, so I just want to be ready, and got my defensive pack of allies, there we go, start producing, uh, infantry equipment too, I'm going to just start producing a little bit more support equipment, we're not producing any health right now, there's Baltic security, oh, oh we just got the T-34, we just got the T-34, the famous T-34, boys, let's get on, uh, producing that right off the that there we go that's looking good we're looking pretty good uh, i'm actually gonna see if we can get a little more planes out we're getting about three out a week that's okay actually wasn't i supposed to change this from fighter one to heavy fighter one right yeah i was actually supposed to change that and i did not so uh let's get that done where am i getting air experience from I do have allied speeches on, guys, just in case you uh, hear it. 
We need the T44 up and going now. Just cause, you know, heavier tanks equal more firepower. More guns, cause we're about to start producing infantry equipment too, and I wanna produce that as fast as possible. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna scale that back a little bit, so our, uh, turn up anti, uh, our anti-tank so we can keep up with the rest of our divisions. Don't care too much about this naval stuff. I've said it a million times, I don't, so, uh, at least not this game. At least we're done, at least we're done with the, uh, political paranoia stuff. We're good. Let's, uh, go ahead and send our ultimatums. Have fun, boys. You better submit. If not, uh, you know, I'll, I'll kill you. Let's get claims on Poland. I would love to offer Poland uh, help in exchange for guarantees, but honestly, don't know if I really want to go for that this game. Um, how's construction looking? So our construction's almost done. Finishing up a few things. Estonia submits. Welcome to the union, comrades. With Lithuania submits. Welcome to the union. Latvia submits. There we go, boys. Oh man, I was hoping that they uh, they actually did submit, and they did submit. Of course, this does mean that Germany is going to demand memo pretty soon, but I'm not too worried. Finland, we are going to have to deal with. And yeah, I did not actually get on building and supply up here with Finland, because I didn't think I was actually going to uh, have to do it. But we are probably going to have to do it. Because, uh, you know, I would like to take care of Finland. Of course, I know they do have their whole little scripted piece thing, and that is fine, but... Uh, there we go. So we can put a little thing on there. Hopefully these finish fast enough so we can do it. We'll see. We got more mills. Let me get some more mills on my tanks. I want to produce. Uh, I want to get as many tanks out as possible. More on guns. Uh, we're doing pretty good right now. We're doing pretty good. Let's start getting. Actually, let's get my artillery. Start getting to the next level of artillery here because I would like to. Uh, you know. Get our artillery up. When you get in more research slots. Actually, thank you. Oh, man. I dropped my keyboard because I'm an idiot. Thank you for actually reminding me that. I actually completely forgot. So, uh, you're a G for that. Thanks for reminding me. We actually got to get down. We got to get our heavy industry stuff done actually really soon. Germany wants memo. There you go. You can have memo. I knew they were going to do it anyway, and I'm not too worried about it right now. Uh, they, they always do, I, I always just beat them to the punch a little bit when it comes to the whole, uh, let's just move our entire Navy around here, because we're actually going to use, I'm actually going to use the Navy against Finland, believe it or not. I, I know, I can't, I can't believe I'm actually going to attempt to use the Navy to convoy raid Finland, but we are actually going to do that. <laughs> oh, I actually like to convoy raid Finland, because if I can keep... If I can keep Finland from, uh, you know, having supplies, I think that would be uh, super beneficial to us, right? Right, don't you guys think? I think that would be super beneficial to us. So we're going to have you guys uh, convoy raid up here, right? We're going to have you guys convoy raid here. And we're going to have you guys convoy raid here and here as well. Actually, no, 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 okay, I got some planes around, I got some boats around here, too. So, uh, we're gonna have, uh, you guys right here that I have actually sitting right here. Yeah, actually, never mind, I'm gonna have you guys convoy raid right here in the Baron Strait. Uh, yeah, I'm in the sea over there, not the Baron Strait, what am I talking about? I'm an idiot. There we go, so we got all three parts covered, we're actually going to, we're gonna do that, and so we can make sure that Finland gets no supplies. If we're gonna starve of supply issues, they're gonna starve of supply issues, Okay. And uh, trust me, boys, we're starving of supply issues, but it's okay. We'll turn that up. We'll turn that one up too. We'll turn this one up. We'll turn that one up as well. Uh, sure, these guys are gonna be hungry for supplies, but it's it's not even that hard to beat Finland anyway. So I think I don't think I truly have to worry just too much. I'll just move my planes over here and actually stop having them exercise because we're gonna. Get air superiority on them, and then after that, we'll do the rest of what we need to do. Everything's everything's going well. We're doing pretty okay right now. Okay, we're doing okay. Huh? I, I don't don't you guys think we're doing okay? I think we're doing okay. I think we're gonna uh, 
We should steamroll, uh, if anything, we actually should steamroll through Finland. Probably pretty quick. I'm just going to keep putting out submarines because, uh, oops. I'm going to keep putting out submarines. We got more mills up and going. And with these mills, I'm actually going to start making a little more trucks. 20 trucks a day sounds very good to me. We got 11 divisions right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just add those over here. What do I actually have these guys? Oh, there we go. Infantry equipment too. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to get that up and going right there. And uh, wh what are we going to research next? Let's get those armored trucks maybe though. How does that sound? That sounds good to me. We got claims on Poland. Uh, I'm going to secure Leningrad really quickly because I'm, I'm about ready to take care of them. I'm going to be real here. Good worker condition. Oh, we got two tank divisions up and going. I'm gonna throw them. Uh, I'm gonna throw them in here real quick and just get that. Uh, you know. Do you know? Do Do you know? Do you? Oh uh, yes, they are. Do you know? Do your industry research. Yes, I do know how to do my uh, industry research. I, and, I, and I will do my industry research. I promise you, we're going to get to it. You got. Uh, if you could just give me a little bit of time to do some of the stuff here, I promise you we're all going to do it, and I'm going to do it all. Yeah, these guys are starving for, for supply, but I, I really don't care. You'll be fine. You'll survive. I don't need you anyway. I, I mean, at most, at most, you can just hold the line for me, okay? Uh, please just, uh, please be a little patient. I promise you we're going to get this all up and going. You just have to give me a little bit of time, okay? Infantry. Okay. No one really cares about a war in South America. I'm gonna be real. I 100% like do not care. I don't. Did we actually finish researching our other tanks? We did not. T44. It's gonna take a while to do it anyway. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. There we go. So we got our secure Leningrad up and going. Uh, I'm going to go over here now, and uh, we'll get our uh, the rest of our uh, stuff going. Finland rejected our demands. We'll get our uh, infrastructure stuff up and going. We will cross them in a few weeks. Are you ready for war, Finland? Because I'm ready for war. Are you? Are we gonna? Are we gonna go? Oh, I got a war goal, but they're being justified by France. And France is guaranteeing their independence. So uh, I guess no war with Finland. Because I'm not joining the Axis. The infantry. Yeah, it is. It is all the new, uh, it is all the new templates. I got them all right here. I got it set to, uh, I got, you see, I have it all right here set to, uh, upgrade as soon as possible. See, upgrades. Uh, I did not change it, though, so that they only use, uh, basic infantry equipment, too. Because I have to give it some time to build up. So they won't be using that just yet, but... Yeah, the infantry division should upgrade relatively quickly. Let me see. Yeah, they got the anti-air. Uh-huh. So, the, yeah, these guys are, yeah, they're upgrading. They're getting their things. They're getting, they got their anti-tank, their anti-air. Yeah, they're upgrading really quickly, so that's fine. The uh, division should be fine down here. Um, Dang it, man. I was really ready for this war with Finland, too. Curse you, France. Oh, wait. Hold on, it doesn't say potential enemies. If I declare war. I just realized I probably should have saved before I did that. Oh well, let's see. Are we gonna are we gonna end up at war with France? Doesn't look like we did. Maybe we did not. Are these guys there? Yeah, they are convoy raiding, and we did not end up at war with France, it looks like. Quick no missions. Let's set our planes up to uh Absolutely bomb the heck out of Eastern Finland. And let's see. Did France come to their aid? They did not. Okay, France did not join. So, you know what? Maybe it's because it's a scripted event that France is just not going to join. Oh, well, it doesn't matter to me. I'm lucky. I'm just going to push right here. Um, 
Yeah, we're doing okay. We just got some more divisions up and going. Another tank. I'm gonna go ahead and add them over here. Yeah, we're all yeah. Oh, look at us just uh, look at us just pushing through Finland over here. You know what I'm saying, boys? Um, is that in, is is that an encirclement? Oh, oh, well, they just made it. They just made it. They just cut off that encirclement. Uh, I am actually going to. I just realized I didn't even draw like a line for these guys to actually follow. Should I want them to? You know, I'm just gonna draw a big one because uh, big one equal good. Also, I don't imagine Finland is gonna be doing too good on supplies later on. Once, especially considering we're uh, we're we're convoy raiding the heck out of them at the moment. Uh, are we winning up here? Oh yeah. Ooh. I don't think Finland's gonna be doing too good when it comes to supplies. So uh, good for us. Oh, it cancels out if I'm guaranteed. Does France still uh, guarantee me? They do. Okay. This actually, you might be right. So if you are right, cool. I actually, I hope that they don't actually join the uh, mutually assistance bot because I don't want to go to war with China. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, we're at, oh god, we're melting Finland at the moment. I can actually push up here, so I. Uh, yeah, I, I can actually just go and push up here, so, you know, let's do it. Whoever said supply, whoever said the supply mattered in, in Hearts of Iron 4? No one. We all know that supply really does not matter, right? <laughs> uh, for Finland, anyway. Supply doesn't matter for Finland. Or, or maybe it does, because uh, these guys are losing. Push those guys through, yeah, okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, no, 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 no. Never mind, we're, we're good. Ooh, yeah. Oh, now this is a good template. This is actually a good template. Uh, I, somebody remind me to take a picture of this before I go. Why are you guys walking back? You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. Just do what you gotta do. Do what you need to do. Can, can we? Can I encircle the entirety of their army this early? I highly doubt. I'm sure they'll move pretty fast, but I also might be able to just like. I'm sure Finland's gonna, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna adapt pretty quickly, but, I, I, yeah, they're, they're gonna adapt pretty quickly. This is a figure they probably would. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna try it, though. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, screw it, you know, uh, it's not hurting me too much, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna straight go for it. Sign a treaty. I'm, I'm gonna straight go for it. Imagine I just encircled the heck out of their entire army right at the start. Molotov, Ribbon Trump, nah, okay, yeah, there we go. They caught up to me. They caught up to me. And the supply is garbage, but you know what? Who cares about cargo supply? Are they trying to push me? I, it, look, it almost looked like they were trying to push me. Why are these guys up here not pushing? They're pushing for me. There's an infrastructure done. Finish the five year plan. Why are you walking back? Don't walk backwards. Yeah, come on. Come on! Oh! Come on, we're so close! Oh, you guys just made it out. You just made it. Oh, you just made it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh! Oh! Encirclement! Encirclement! Oh, they did break my encirclement up here and I wasn't paying attention. But you know what? We're, gonna, we're just gonna try to take it back because... Honestly, if I if I was Finland at this point, I'd just uh, I'd go ahead and surrender. You know, it's pretty over. You know, I did. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and press the uh, magical button over here because uh, I'm gonna be real. I don't expect Finland to have too much more resistance. They're not. It's not looking too good for them. If I'm, if I'm being like 100% real with you, capital is mine. Thank you, Finland. It's not going to take us too long to get the actual piece out, if I'm being real with you anyway, so, you know. I'll, I'll just read what you said here in a second. Just, they can't, they can't, the new DLC makes it so if you, if you want to join a faction, it has to make sense. Well, I don't have the new DLC, I'm going to be real with you. I have, um... I don't have the modern day DLC. I brought the Connect edition in the game, I didn't buy any more DLC beyond that, so... There's like, there's literally no need to worry about the white death. We, we, we literally basically already won. What are you talking about? Sure, Finland has no supply. We know that already. It, it is what it is. 
But we're, uh, well, I mean, they got some supply units over here, just not not really good ones. You know, if the, if we didn't have a script, that, uh, if I could have pieced them out fast enough, though, I would have actually just straight up got, uh, had I made it to piece them out fast enough and we didn't get the script of event, I probably realistically would have just, uh, I would have just puppeted them. It would have been cool to keep them out of the uh, war going forward, but yeah. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't just, you know what? Okay, uh, well, thank you for that. I'll be taking that. Oh, actually, I don't want all that. I will take, no, I don't want to take that either. I want that, I want that. Uh, I don't want to take anything too drastic. Yeah, I don't really want to take all that. I just want to secure Leningrad. And, uh, the rest, I'll, I'll pop it. So, uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for cooperating with me, Finland. There we go. And now when the Germans do inevitably come for us, we do no longer have to worry about Finland because they are puppeted and we are good. Ha <laughs> ha! Lucky us, right, boys? Um, how's Romania doing, actually? Ooh. Yeah, they're not doing too good. Uh, let me see. I should have probably done the claims on uh, Bessarabia just to get that over with before it gets too late, but uh, it doesn't really matter for now. Finland's out of here, and that's all we need to care about. For now, I'll place my troops on the border with Poland. Ooh, 12 divisions. Uh, I'm gonna put those over here. Actually, has Japan lost yet their civil war? Uh, almost. Actually, if Japan, yeah, they, they've got Tokyo. They're gonna win. I honestly don't think we need this front with Japan anymore, if I'm being realistic with you. I think Japan's doing pretty good, and they're probably gonna join the Allies anyway. So I don't think I need to focus on it right now. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put troops over here with Romania for now. We got some more tank divisions up and going, and uh, we did we did see uh, we did we did get to see luckily that our tanks actually do. But we got more planes in reserve. Poland refuses German ultimatum. Oh, well, there's a war with Poland. And the Allies as well. So, uh, we'll kick that off. There we go. Here's all our fighters. We're just going to add all of them over. I don't really care. Yeah, we'll just put them all there. Thank you very much. The German right just declared war on Poland. Poland joined the Allies. I'm just going to put all my points here. I, I did get the Allied speeches. Uh, no, who has war goes against us? This morning, the British and Why are they justifying the against me? Already? The final note. Oh, I think it's because they're part of the Allies and I'm guaranteeing France. Yeah, I think that is how that goes. They're not actually justifying against me. Finish five year plan. I'm actually going to go over here real quickly because now that World War II is officially kicking off, I'm going to claim Bessarabia. Just, I'm gonna get that over with so I can get my borders already set up. We don't have to, good, we don't have to worry about the finish front now. And lucky for us, because we don't have to worry about the finish front, Finland should actually help us uh, keep the, am I gonna keep going down here? Yeah, I will actually keep going down here. Let me check up on my division templates real quick. I want to actually add an engineering company over here to these guys. I also would actually like to add some support into tank for them just because it would make good, uh, it would actually make up for uh, them. We don't need to... Yeah, they canceled their non-aggression pact with me. I think France was a little bit upset that I uh, did not come to Poland's aid, but you know what? Oh no, they're still guaranteeing me, okay. Reasonable proposals. We know. To be fair, he did put forward reasonable proposals. Uh, and by reasonable, he literally said, "Give me Danzig or war," and you said no. So, uh, uh, you know, that's kind of your fault, Poland. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I I'm 100% joking. I I'm 100% playing with you. Please do not consider me. Please don't think I'm telling the truth. Oh, we got a lot of planes. They're not good planes, but they are a lot of planes. This is a lot of planes, actually. So. 
You know, if we just stuff planes over here, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying, we might actually be able to get something done with Germany. I am going to uh, actually move all my navy back over here. You're done with your missions, because, uh... Poland didn't stand a chance in certain times. There you go. Goodbye, Poland. I uh, should just go ahead and get my peace event, or are you just going to eat the entirety of Poland? Excellent. There we go. Here's the side occupies Eastern Poland. Ha ha! So now we got our modern day border with Germany, which is good. We're going to uh, get that. Well, not our modern. Did I say our modern day? I guess our. We, now we got our full border with Germany, which is great. Because now that we got that, I can actually set that up. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this front line. Uh. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to create, an, I'm going to get actual, uh, I'm going to start working on getting another division for Hungary. Hungary's not too much of uh, a, a threat. I'm going to be real with you. They're not too much of a threat. Uh, like, I'm being 100% real with you, so I'm just not going to care about Hungary for now. And I'm about to get my claims on Bessarabia anyway, so that'll push the border back even more. And with our planes, uh, I think... I think we should be able to, we might even be able to push the Germans. I don't know for sure, but we might actually just straight up be able to push the Germans, which would be like insane. Do we have a closer airport? We do not have, no, we don't, is this, is this ours? We do actually, we do have a closer airport with the Germans, which is great for us at the moment. Just gonna get that already set up. We got a border with the Germans going. Italy joined the German Reich. There we go. So World War II is fully in effect here, and uh, we got all our territory summed up. We don't have to worry about Finland, which is phenomenal. Belgium destroying the Allies. Germany's going for him. So we're just capitulated uh, as they should be doing. Yeah, I don't really care about what you have to say. What do you want me to do? I'm going to be real. Here we go. Uh, is Neville Chamberlain out? He is! Churchill's here. Neville Chamberlain is out. Oh, we got those heavy, we got those medium tanks right here. You know, honestly, if I really wanted to, I could just push Germany right now. Like, if, if I really just wanted to, uh, go ahead. There we go, Romania. Thank you for Bessarabia. That sets the border back even more, which is phenomenal. There we go. Um, I... No, hold on. We're going to go back over here now. We're going to uh, get back on the focus on, on the industry. Right, because we need the USSR Academy of Science, so we're... Actually... Um... So we'll get on here. We'll go to the National Specialist. I didn't even put that a second time. We got some mill factories up here going. I'm going to actually just get my artillery increased a little bit. We can use a little more artillery construction. We're almost done getting our supply things going. How supply actually looking? I want to see something really quickly. How is supply looking around here on our actual borders? Uh, pretty good. There is a small spot in Hungary, but it should actually be filled out by this. So I, I think we should actually. Ooh, I didn't mean that. We should be fine on supply potentially. I don't think I really have to build any more, uh, any more supply. I'm probably going to let the Germans grind on me a little bit, but to be fair, pause, pause, major pause. But to be fair, uh, these units that I built aren't really for, they're not really for freaking, um, how you say, uh, defense. They're not really for defense. They're more for, uh, straight Soviet Union claims for Arabia. Cool. Uh, they're more for, um... Who's still doing this? Oh, sorry. Yeah, get back over here. I'm 
gonna try and block the heck out of the Germans from uh, accessing my territory over here. We got some more tank divisions. I'm just gonna throw them in. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, actually, let's get on engineering uh, companies too. Because that, that could be good. We can also get uh, some of these done. Ooh, we can upgrade our trains. We should do that. Um, Eastern Development, develop the Euros. We're, we're going to develop the Euros. There we go. Oh, I'm really hoping that we actually do. We actually are. We're pushing out heavy tanks a little bit faster. So Germany just declared war on Norway. Okay. Did Denmark surrender yet? They have not. I'm not too scared of Germany though. The Churchill speeches are great. Uh, I, you know, honestly, you know, I really hate you, uh, China. I really hate you, Communist China, because I would have given you Manchuria back. I legitimately would have given it to you, but you, uh, at least we're not going to have to worry about Japan, though it does look like the Civil War has stalled a little bit. Where am I boosting Communist support at, actually? Wait, do we, are we, we actually don't need to do this, because Poland does not exist anymore. So we just developed the Urals, that should give us uh, history and development, get that done. Honestly, I'm gonna be real here. I don't think I have to worry about Communist China too much anymore, so uh, I'm just gonna give them back Manchuria. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna just return it. There you go. You can have it. I don't think I really need it anymore, so uh, I'm not too worried about it. Japan's not really going to be in my way. Plus, if anything, it's closer. It's a bigger buffer zone between me and Korea. Korea is actually independent. I didn't even realize that Korea was independent, but they are independent. I am... Am I boosting communism in Romania? I am boosting communism in Romania. I, I'd actually like to stand, uh, start a coup. That would actually be cool. Denmark is capitulated. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs, so I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, oh yeah, okay, so Denmark is, uh, down there, in Iceland. Oh, uh, there we go. The academy, this is, should give us our third research slot, yeah, okay. Fourth use, fourth research slot, I mean. Okay, Romanians just joined the Axis, I am a little upset about that, but, uh, okay, it is what it is, I guess. Um... Let's get a radio company. That'd be fun to add on to my, uh, my industry. These guys, okay, so we got two more heavy tanks. I'm almost done filling out these guys with heavy tanks. They don't really need to. I'm, I keep saying heavy tanks. I mean medium tanks. Medium tanks seem to be the best place. I want to actually get my engineering companies up further. Yugoslavian Confederation. What is that? Is Yugoslavia having a... Civil war. They are having a civil war. Who was boosting this? Well, you know what? You guys have to keep having a civil war. Uh, good luck on that. There we go. Uh, India, the Indian communist just asked us for support. You want some guns? Have some guns, buddy. Hey, man. Sorry back now. Can you uh, catch me up? Okay. Well, I'll catch you up really quickly. World War II has kicked off. Uh, we are currently... Uh, we are we did get our uh, border with uh, Poland, you know, we're currently getting our troops up We got a lot of tanks starting to enter the field. We got Bessarabia uh, I'm currently getting my fourth research slot at the moment uh, Belgium is done. The Netherlands are done. Uh, Denmark is done. They've capitulated Yugoslavia just entered into a democratic civil war even though they just joined the Axis Romania also just joined the Axis, but I'm doing a communist coup on them Hungary is also in the Axis, but I'm not too scared of them. I'm going to be real here. Um, I don't know if you watched, but we did beat Finland and we did puppet them. And I decided to give uh, Manchuria back to Communist China since it doesn't look like Japan is going to be doing anything anytime soon. Plus, Korea is independent. And I can probably get some communist up in there. In fact, I'm going to actually just go ahead and stage a coup there. 
because it's, it's looking like I probably get some comments there going anyway. So I don't think I have to worry too much about the Eastern Front. So uh, yeah, we are we're we're doing pretty good. I just got uh, engineering support companies too, and I'm also currently in uh, I'm also currently researching engineer uh, radio companies. I'd like to get a radio company. That'd be pretty uh, fun. I don't know what they do, but it would just be pretty cool to get. We got more tanks. I'm just finishing up getting as many tanks in these units as possible before I throw some over to the uh, old docking station. Done. Let's actually get something else going. Some more submarines. Let's look where most of these guys have uh, spawned. They're over here. So, yeah, they are all over here. So, we're just going to move them all back over here. And then we'll we'll have these guys try. We're going we're gonna to try to... I'm not too... Like I said, I'm not too... I don't really care too much about the whole uh, the whole naval thing. But we are just spamming out whatever naval ships we can get. They increase organization. Okay, so they do increase the organization. That is cool. That is cool. Um... As, oh, I just got the non-aggression pack with Communist China. Okay. I'm going to throw some tanks more over here. Uh, if I can get Romania out, that would be really fun. There we go. So we're done with the USSR Academy of Science. Now I'm going to start going down the uh, the Air Force path. Try and get some more things over there going. We're done with the trains. Let's see if I can get up to Infantry Equipment 3 before World War II kicks off for me. That would be actually really cool if I can. So we got free civilian factories, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna build a few mill. Oh well, the communist Chinese just capitulated. That's it for them. Let's uh, let's throw in some more mills over here. Dear God, we got a lot of territory we can throw some mills into. Let's get some mills going down here. Um, let's get. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's get a couple fuel refineries down here. I know they're not fully developed yet, but you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm going to uh I'm gonna throw some anti-air on my border with uh Germany now. Uh also with uh Romania. I'm gonna throw some anti-air there. Forts I'm not too worried about, but uh I guess I'll throw a couple there. It doesn't matter too much to me. Uh, I'm not really trying to defend anyway. I more so want to. Uh, I more so want to fight them. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. It'd be actually. I, I want to see if uh, with my current division templates, I'll be able, if I'll be able to push the Germans at all. Let me expand the aircraft industry. Has France capitulated yet? No, but they're they're almost there. Yeah, they're almost there. France, France is almost out of here. We won't see them too uh, for too much longer. Oh well, there we go. There, this France. I was just talking about how we wouldn't see them for too much longer, and then they uh, they did what they always do, and they capitulated. Bye, bye, France. Mr. Speaker, in a disastrous military event, which have happened during the past four weeks, have not come to me with any sense of surprise. Nanda. Indeed, I indicated. Dude, this is such a cool speech. What am I running on? I'm running on something. Ooh. Tungsten. Uh, yeah, I guess we can get a little bit from the British. There we go. We can get some from the British. Ooh, we're doing good on mill factories. I'm going to straight up increase the tanks right then and there, guys. I'm going to get as many on these tanks as possible. Uh, I'm just gonna put the. I'm just gonna increase this just a little bit so those two can maybe uh, boost up once we get a chance. We'll get the air superiority up. I, I, if I can block the German air force early on, I think we might not do too bad. I think we might not do too bad in the actual, like, straight-up battle. I'm going to be real. We're going to modernize our aircraft facilities. There we go. Let's go for infantry equipment three. Dude, our tanks are just... Or, we are rolling tanks off the line. We're actually rolling tanks off the line a lot faster than we're rolling infantry off the line. Oh, it's probably because I'm getting low on manpower. Service by requirement. There we go. Probably because I was getting low on manpower. I'm not like completely down, but that, that's probably why I wasn't getting as many uh, 
if the trio is possible. You know, honestly, though, uh, considering that the Germans still have light tanks on my border, I'm just saying, uh, we might actually be able to push the Germans. I'm going to be real. They're, they're getting ready. They're definitely getting ready. Hungary is scaring me, though. Hungary really is scaring me because I, uh, I don't have a plan for Hungary. I'm going to be real. I really do not have one for them. Let me see if I can make a better front line. Oh, uh, well, there, there's China. China just went communist. Oh, Sweden joined the Axis? Who did Sweden declare war on? Huh? Who did Sweden declare war on? Oh, not good. Decline? Hold up, buddy. You guys aren't in the Axis. Well, I'm going to be real from you. I'm going to be real with you guys. Uh, you screwed yourself. That is on you. Uh, hey, buddy, guess what? You're not... Whoever invited... How did you get in the faction? I didn't even invite you to the faction. How did you get in the faction? I'm going to be real. How did you get into the faction? I gave you support, but I didn't think that invited you into the faction. Oh, well, that, I guess that's on those guys, because I'm not in that. You know, I need the allies. No, I don't have any ships in the Black Sea. I don't need, I don't want any ships in the Black Sea. Well, I'm not going to war with the British, so my eyes did something stupid, and that is really on them. I don't really care too much about the Indian communists. Good luck. Also, Sweden joined the Axis. Don't ask me why, but they did. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get that out the way. Peru just joined the Axis. Chile joined the Allies. I'm not. I don't even know how you got. I don't even want you in the faction. I, I, I didn't even mean to give you support. I don't want you in the faction. You're gone. Have fun. Die. I don't really care about you. Are you guys gonna uh, get on on this? Roosevelt, you you getting in on this, buddy? I mean, you are guaranteeing all the uh. All the South American countries just probably get in on that. I'm gonna be real with you. Well, uh, let's develop our Eastern allies, even though, like, I don't really care too much about them. I wish you guys screw off, because I'm not helping you. You did something dumb, you're on your own. No, wait, did Finland join, though? Finland didn't join, did they? They did not, because they are a puppet, and that is good. I don't want Finland in that war with the allies. King Carol just abdicated, and Germany is probably just... Italy is justifying against us. Okay, mm-hmm. There we go. Uh, so they just got their fascist government. The king did just abdicate, and Italy is justifying against us. Why? Who? Why is Italy justifying against... Hmm. Who are you justifying against? Or are you justifying against it? No, you're already at war. They have war goals against Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavian Confederation. Oh, the Democratic side won. That is sick. Why would I put divorce? Why do? Why would I put uh the? No, no. Why would I put the uh, divisions on the Finnish borders? They're my puppet. I beat them already. They're done. I don't have to worry about them. They're not going to join the war with uh, them anymore. Uh, and plus, I'm sure they'll be able to take care of the Germans if they uh, they rush in. Uh, I do see what you mean there. There are a couple more Norwegian troops there. But I honestly entrust Finland to take care of it for me or at least hold them out, you know? 
until I hopefully be uh, until I can hopefully push straight for the uh, hopefully I can push straight for the uh, well, actually let's do the new Soviet Union first I'm gonna try my best to push straight into Berlin right now hopefully my medium tanks just melt the German ones hopefully maybe I'm actually just gonna straight up I'm gonna have a full-on tank division now because I'm getting a little bit sick of the fact that like sure it's only two for now but it'll do because I'm gonna just put them on the border with hungry because uh Hung hungry doesn't look too fun how did Sweden get troops all the way down here the hungry that quick Don't ask me how Sweden got their troops down to Hungary just like that, but they did. Oh, we got even more mills just coming out. It's just insane how many mills we're actually just pushing out right now. Okay. I'm just gonna straight up just keep adding these guys to check and this guy general. Where did this many wait, how did I get this many troops in the Hungarian war? Okay. Oh, because these guys aren't on the Romanian border anymore, like they should be. Yeah, I don't know why these guys weren't on the Romanian border anymore, but they weren't, so, uh, get back over there. I was like, what the heck is going on? Why is my supply getting hurt over here? It's because these guys were on the wrong border. Oh, we got the T-44. Okay. <clears throat> we got the T-44 now. Let's go. Let's just start getting that straight into production. Um, I'm, okay, let me see something real quick. Let's do that. So I'm not, the T-54 is a heavy tank, right? Water tanks. This is a heavy tank if I'm correct. Nope, oh, actually it's a medium tank, right? And it enables modern tank, but is it a medium tank? Yeah, it's too far ahead anyway. I don't really care. Let's look into. Can I start? Oh, I can actually research these now. In fact, we got some planes ready to go ahead and add. So, uh. We'll get all those and, uh, we'll put them all here. Yep, we'll go ahead and add those right there. Ooh. I think it's not going to look too good for the Germans, personally. Oh, well, there, there is our, our, our coup and... Uh, uh, let's invite these guys to our faction. Okay, we stand together. More tanks, and I'm just going to add straight on to the uh, Hungarian border. I, I, I personally believe that I should actually just straight up be able to, like, push straight past... Korea join the allies. Okay, I knew that was gonna happen. These guys are done anyway, so uh good job in the out have fun in the allies, Korea, because uh, I'm not joining your war. That is on you. Probably shouldn't have invited them to the uh common turn if I'm being real with you, but uh yeah, oh well, whatever. It doesn't matter too much anyway. Introducing around five of those new tanks a day. That is good. Okay, more mills. Dude, the mills are just coming in like absolute butter right now. It's almost too much to handle. Nanda. Hold on. I I'm, I'm trying to reach out and then keep up with uh, paying attention because the Germans are going to be coming any minute now. Why do you have six deficit on tanks? What do you mean? What do you mean why do I have six deficit on tanks? What are you talking about? I didn't do any of the navy stuff. I'm gonna be too one hundred percent real with you again. Not my, not my style. Though I will. Oh well, there, there it is. 
Here we go, boys. It's too late. It's too late now. It's too late. Yeah. Whatever we have is what we have, okay? Because uh, it, it's time. It's time to get it on. Whatever. Whatever we got is just how it's gonna go. I'm gonna set up a line in Hungary, but I'm gonna be real, and I don't really expect us to push too in Hungary. I'm gonna be real with you. So we got tons of planes over there. Hopefully we can uh, we can uh, get this going. Greetings to the fighters against fascism. This is the action. Okay, we got five million manpower. Why are we not churning out any divisions? I'm curious as to why we are not. Like they're already, they're just not spawning. Why? Is there something you're missing? Why are you guys not spawning? So I'm actually gonna change those really quickly. I'm gonna add a radio company to these guys since I actually have them now. There we go, organization up and going. There we go. The Germans are uh, the Germans are doing what they got it, what they feel like they need to do. So, uh, which is justifying against me. I'm not too worried. So let's just get straight through the mobilization plan. We might have to. I'm gonna see it first. I'm gonna let them push me. Oh, we staged the coup. We staged the coup. We staged the coup. We got the coup in Romania, which is good. got the coup in Romania. If if we can get in fast enough, if we can get in fast enough, if the Germans harry up justifying and they just declare war, we might be able to cut the Romanian front off right off the bat, which would be insane. It would actually be legitimately insane. There we go. Korea just lost. That's really on me. I'm not joining the war. Hopefully, I don't get into the war with the Allies, because I really don't want to end up in the war with the Allies. Nope, I don't think I'm going to make it into the Romanian war fast enough. Sad as it is to say. Can you imagine the Romanians People's Republic just like, hey, you're in. Yes, buddy. I'm figuring, I'm trying to figure out why the heck my um, infantry is just not spawning. I've got 7 million manpower. Do I have to like, I'm going to rest, I'm going to change it really quickly and set it to Moscow. I feel like it should have spawned by now, but it just has not done it. Which is really weird to me. I can't for the life of me figure out why. Are all these guys, they're all ready, aren't they? Or are they just barely missing supplies? What are you missing? Not enough equipment. What is it you don't have? Anti-air. I don't ha I'm not making anti-air. I didn't think about that. Where is the anti-air? I, it, it hadn't even occurred to me. Uh, I'm gonna take some off of, uh, I'm just take a couple off my trucks to put them on my anti-air. I didn't, it didn't occur to me. I'm like, why the heck are you guys not coming out on the line when you should have been here? And I could have been filling the Romanian, the uh, hungry line, but now I understand. Rehabilitated military, we're gonna get down this. We're gonna do this as soon as possible here. It all makes sense now as to why these guys aren't being trained. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? I should have like a ton of infantry just ready to go and they're just not here. Um, let me look. I know the supply is probably got off and right around here, but it'll be fine. It will be fine. Because we're not, again, we're not going to push. We're not pushing off the bat. We want to wait just a tiny bit. There we go. The war has kicked off. I'm going to decrease speed. Germany just declared war. I'm going to ignore that. Uh, we're getting red. We are getting red, but let me check out the air. So we got our planes over here going, and we're going to 
I can't turn on both of these, can I? Oops. Let me see. Hopefully, uh, Ed, what did I set these guys to do? Air superiority, I did, okay. I'm going to try, I can't push yet. These guys are, what's the casualty numbers? Zero for me. Uh, they're already suffering a million casualties, but not for me. So we're gonna just try and speed up a little bit. Yeah, a treaty is nothing but a piece of paper. Yeah, they just call it Italy. I'm calling it on my eyes. Finland, get on in here. There we go. We're all in now. Uh, yeah, we're we're against the access. Uh, they're already suffering a ton of losses by grinding up against me. Idiots, actual idiots they are. Okay, oh, I got a lot of things to uh, I got a lot of things to do. So, non-aggression pact, non-aggression pact, non-aggression pact, non-aggression pact. I'll take a non-aggression pact with all of you guys. Thank you. I would love not to go to war with you guys, but to uh. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of green now. I am seeing so we are seeing a decent amount of green. Not a lot of green, of course. Is this hungry? This is hungry. Where did they get this land from? I'm gonna be real. Where they get the heck? Where the heck did they get that land from? Are we at war? Are these guys at war with me? They aren't at war with me. Not yet, at least. Maybe because they're getting communist support or something. I don't know. How's the casualties looking? 13k, 44k. So we are doing some. We're doing casualties to the Germans, which is good. Hungary and Romania are not at war with us just yet. 53k. God, oh God, oh, we're, we are. We are doing casualties. They're rising for us, but we're still doing more to them than they're doing to us, and that is good. Let's look. Uh, the bubbles, they're not looking too good at the moment. Uh, let me see. The support, how's the, uh, the air battle going? We are doing something. How's our air superiority looking, though? It's looking over like this main area. They got a lot of freaking planes, though. They have a lot. Let me see. Now, let me take my uh, navy that we got over here, right? And uh, I'm going to send you all. I want you guys to raid the heck. Uh, we want to block the Germans, right? I want to block the Germans from even getting in here. So, uh, patrol. Patrol. Convoy raid. Uh, we're going to have these guys. Convoy raid over here. I imagine the Germans are also, uh, not the Germans, but I imagine the British are doing a lot of this too. But well, I'm just going to put these guys here, and we're just going to hope and pray that we can survive this. No. Oh, Romania wants to sign a, oh, well, that was a Romanian people Republic. Why, oh, just because all of our planes actually are not being told what to do. All of you guys, you're all in the war. Just get straight in there. Every last one of you, get going. How's the casualty with the 63,000, 100,000 casualties for the Germans? That way. Ooh. We are absolutely lighting the Germans up. I'm gonna be real. They are pushing a little bit. They are pushing a little bit. They are actually pushing us just a little bit, but they're still. But for every inch they're taking, they are taking a lot of casualties. So, uh, you know. Oh well, now now they're taking less casualties than we're they're actually. They're getting they're getting up there. I'm just gonna try real quick just to see what happens if I go on the offensive. Uh, nothing good. That's for sure. No one's pushing on the Hungarian front. The Romanian front. Uh, is Romania? I'm, I'm curious. Are you going to join in or are you not going to join? Like, what's good, Romania? Honestly, I probably should do a fall. A fall back one. That probably would have been good, but I didn't do that. 
Yeah, it's mostly all starting to go red now. They're gonna make a little bit of ground, but still, we're still doing more casualties to them than they are to us. I'm actually gonna change this a little bit. I'm actually going to draw a fallback line behind the rivers. Right? So, uh, let me see. I'll just draw one big line back over here. Wait, am I right clicking to do it? Or left -clicking? Yeah, I am. So, anything past the river mostly should uh, work. And there we go. So if you guys do have to let them uh, push in, feel free to do so. It'll be fine. We're either just going to, I mean, our main hope anyway is just kind of hope that the allies come to our aid, you know, while we, uh, while we, um, you know, while we try our best to uh, survive. Add anti-air to tanks. Yeah, I could, but I, at the same time, I also don't have, I also don't have a lot of anti-air for my own guns as well. So you know, I mean, for my um, for my uh, infantry divisions right now, I'm not making enough, and I could do emergency factory conversion, but I guess we can try it. Get a little more on the anti-air. How's the casualties looking? Yeah, they're, they're really starting to catch up on the casualties now. They actually legitimately are starting to catch up, and that is a problem. Actually, so much so that they've actually, I've actually passed them in casualties. But it's fine. We got the manpower to replace it. Nanda. Oh no, could you guys, like, get out of there? Because they're gonna... Just let them have it! It's not that big a deal. Just let them get it. I don't care. I'd much rather have you not get encircled back there like idiots. Yeah, those guys are done. They're, they're doing something about them. That, that's on them. Do not go over there. What are you talking about? I, I've never seen bigger idiots in my life. What are you, what are you doing? Just no, no missions. Uh, yeah, please, please, come on. Get it all on. How is the air battle actually going? That's because our planes have actually moved. Move, come on. All you guys move back down the next real quickly. You're more, you're more useful down there than you are up here. Don't worry, I, I got a plan. The Germans, are, they'll start running out of supply eventually. See, it looks good for them right now, but eventually what's going to happen is they're going to run... Look, they're already starting to run out of supply. They'll run out of supply eventually, and when they do, that'll be on them. When they run out of supply, I, I can take the losses. You know, I, I can take this. They they can't take it as much as I can. You see what I'm saying? So when they run out of supply, that is when uh, that is when I'll, I'll try to push them back. Like, the gains they're making, they're not that big. Like, they only just took Latvia, you know? And I honestly do not know why they have not called in Romania yet, actually. How's the whole C thing going up here? We actually are somehow actually doing okay.
We haven't got the whole Navy reports with yet. They aren't getting any Navy. They aren't getting their Navy up here. I haven't looked up here, but uh, looks like these guys are starting to stall because of uh, the lack of supply. So uh, I told you I didn't have to worry too much about Norway. Uh, and we are starting to get some green bubbles. It's looking like the Germans are uh, starting to uh, realize that there is not that much supply here in the uh, old Soviet Union. Oh, there's our naval battle. Let's see how it's gone. Victory! Yeah, we are actually legitimately destroying uh, German ships. to get that encirclement that they're going for right there, so I'm going to push back just a little bit right there. I actually would really, really rather have them not encircle my troops there, so I'm actually going to push them. Peace, guys. I'm trying to see if, this, if they left any gaps in their line for me to take advantage of. They kind of did, actually. Oh, well, no, they filled it out that quick. Okay. Oh, yeah, these guys are moving back. How's the no supply filling down there, fellas? It can't feel too good. I can't. I imagine it probably does not feel too good. The huge lack of supply that we've got. You know, the moment I move these troops off the Romanian line, the moment I do it, watch what's going to happen. Watch what's going to happen. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to move the troops off the Romanian line and watch what's going to happen. In fact, actually, no, I'm going to put them back for a second. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to save the game really quickly. All right? We're getting lend lease from the U.S., that is cool, but hey, uh, guys, could I, uh, could you guys all uh, give me some anti-air? Can I modify our, uh, lend lease? I can. Can you guys give me some anti-air? Do you guys got any anti-air I can get to artillery? Oh, you got anti-tank, but you don't got any anti-air? Oh, you do have anti-air. Can I get some of that? No? You don't like me enough? Okay. What about the British? You guys got any anti-air I can have? Are you willing to give me? No, you do not. Okay, well, screw you guys, too. We're going to get desperate measures up and going over here. Looks like Finland is not doing so bad. Now that we got a save going, though, I'm actually going to move these troops off of the Romanian front line. Right? And instead, I'm going to put them on this front line. With this front line not doing as good, and I would rather have them not get trapped back there. You know what I'm saying? I would rather have them not get trapped back there. I'm going to actually use communist there. Watch this. I I'm, I'm calling it right now. Yeah, these, I'm, I'm going to lose all these guys, but it's not that big a deal. 600k casualties to 400k, so the war has really started to take that toll on me. Casualty wise, it's getting pretty bad. They're getting pretty close to Moscow, actually.
find that, actually. Well, they're stalling speech, so I can only imagine. Well, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're not doing so far from the Germans, though, when it comes to casualties. Let me turn some of the supplies up over here. I didn't realize. Especially as the Germans themselves start reaching, uh, start le start reaching the uh, the no supply uh, areas, and they start running out of supplies. I'm sure they'll. But right, look, they're already starting to fill it. They're already starting to fill it. They're just running out of complete supplies. Let me see if I can push these guys through. Let me see if I can push them through. Obviously, they're out of supplies. But the Germans are starting to realize that they don't have that the suppliers are starting to run low for them too. You know, we're getting actually a, that is a lot of green bubbles. That is a lot of green bubbles. Yeah, that's a lot of green bubbles. Unfortunately, indeed. Oh, yeah, we're getting a lot more green bubbles than we were, which is good. Yeah, it looks like the Germans are really starting to learn the meaning of uh, no supply. Have these guys really not joined the Allies yet? Or bro, is Japan really not capitulated yet? We are actually still actively beating the Germans who are trying to push in their ships over here. We're still getting them. They are starting to run out of supply. I just executed Scorched Earth in the approach to Moscow, so, uh, yeah, get ready, guys. Eight hundred K. We're we're getting a little more even now on these casualties, though. We are getting a little more even. In fact, so much so they actually have more than me at the moment. So we are raking in casualties. It is. We are doing insane on that. Plus Finland, they're uh, they're doing something. They they exist. Uh, it looks like everyone's running into no supply around here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna boost Finland's supply just to see what they do. Yeah, 
That's still a lot of green bubbles. It's looking like they're starting to stall, guys. They are starting to stall. It might almost be our time to push. Yeah, they're they're running low on supplies. They're running low. Like, yeah, they're starting to really feel the heat. Also, these guys are still over there, and they're still in circle the heck out of them. Why are you still trying to push? Starting to starve over here. Uh, casualties have picked up. They've reached the mill. They've reached the mill. They've reached the mill. Casualties. And they're not even near Stalingrad, though. They, I've never gotten them. I've never got them this far. They're close to Moscow, though, which is a little scary. But they are also starting to run out of supply. Yeah, the, these guys are going to start running low soon. They're nowhere near Stalingrad like they usually do get, so uh, that is good. I just kind of have to hold out and pray that the Allies come soon. Like, I, I just kind of have to hold out and pray that the Allies come soon and that they, uh, they save the day. I also don't have anywhere else to put my tanks, so that's why they haven't been spawning. Okay, well, they're, they're hungry. They're in. Hungry wasn't in, but they're in now. And they are starting to push. They are going to start pushing, which is, uh, you know, ever so slightly annoying. Please do not call Romania. I beg of you, please don't call Romania. These guys are not even pushing in a lot of the areas. I'm just gonna attempt. I'm just gonna attempt. I'm just gonna attempt. I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna see. I'm, I'm just gonna see. Actually, I don't have a push. I didn't actually push them anywhere. What am I talking about? Well, the casualties are still growing, though they've uh, started getting more than me. Good. Our friend General Winter has shown up to help us. See if I can't take out a few of the uh, the, uh, the German soldiers over here who aren't like uh, you know stuck in the middle. They're, they're mostly bogged down over here, though. They aren't really trying to push it over here anymore. They are still making pushes over here, though. Which, you know, is not that good.
probably though because the supply is kind of getting a little low over here so I'm just gonna turn that up a little bit I'm just gonna see what happens if I try to push mostly still reds uh, so I'm just gonna stop that right now I'm just gonna cut that off real quick. But I will actually set these guys to be a lot more aggressive than they are. Just to try to get as many kills as possible on those Germans. So good in this direction. It's another huge set of army. Uh, They are still trying to push, though. But their their offensive seems to have stalled in a lot of areas, though. I'm just saying, like, a lot of areas. You know what? Hey, China. Are you in the war? You're not in the war. You're not alive. That does suck. Hey, UK, would you, uh, would you like some military access? Would you come help me if I gave you military access? No? Okay. Yeah, I figured they'd do that. Hopefully. Oh, thanks, bro. I think I'm going to be streaming much longer. I'm just trying to see what the Germans are going to do first. If I can... Okay, so Kiev just fell. Kiev only just fell at that, so... I'd say that's pretty good, although these guys are done. Can I have these guys just retreat? I don't have a navy in the area. <laughs> Could I have these guys just go? Yeah, it looks like they got destroyed. They're gone. I need some anti-air. That would be really nice, USA. Please. You know, if you actually would like to be helpful, that anti-air would really benefit me. I'm not even lying to you. Like, if you actually would like to help me, anti-air. You can't go wrong with it. You just cannot go wrong with it. I'm being serious. The Germans are suffering huge lack of supply up here. Like, they're done. Heck, man, they've almost gotten circled over here. I'm gonna be real. Oh, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's definitely not good, but it's not that bad. Their offensive definitely has stalled. 
you know, once we get like lessons of war or whatever, if we can get that, we will probably be good. I'm a real. Their offensive up here again has just completely stalled, so. I think they've learned not to mess with uh, old Sensler anymore. Still don't think a push would be wise as they are still crying in some areas like right here. Okay, um, my headset just died. My headset is dying. So I'm going to have to actually go ahead and end the stream. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, but my headset's dying. I'm sorry. Goodbye.